I know a lot of people right now are getting coaching from these digital markers and gurus, and I have a beef to pick. Whether you're talking to the ClickFunnels guys or whatever it is, I am so tired of people talking all about what's your amazing offer. If you think starting and growing a business and, and making it in, whether it's you're selling a course or whatever it is, if you think that it's just about making the greatest offer ever, I think you're wrong. So my name is Rob Satcher, I have Feedback Wrench. <clears throat> These are my thoughts as I drive along. Buckled up, I'm safe, don't worry. But folks, if you're trying to grow something special, you crafting together some gigantic promise of what you're gonna deliver to a customer is not the right way to do it. Now, if I were to back up, what's more important than making some sweet offer is to truly be in tune with what's important and vital and valuable to your core customer. And you certainly wanna be able to define the service that you're gonna provide, define the thing that you are gonna sell, and then you wanna talk about what's valuable to them. You also, in your sales process, whatever that is, whether it's a, a landing page with, with uh, videos and messaging, or if you're doing this in person to sell a, a, a service, you're gonna to need to talk about what's valuable to them. You're gonna to have to ask what's valuable to them and, and position that. And I think that's super important. That's similar to making a great offer, but better than this great offer where you like, I'm gonna deliver 50 amazing customers to you and you don't pay until they close. I, I, I just see that everywhere. Instead of that, what's much better is to have a realistic expectation that you set, give examples of the people that you've actually worked with, and I know that your coaches and your gurus are telling you to do the same thing. However, the big difference is, I think that showing folks real businesses that you've helped by showing the clips, the testimonials, and actually showing their websites and showing what you're doing for people is far more valuable than you simply shouting to the wind an amazing offer. In fact, I think that the greatest difference in making big promises and making fantastic offers to people and then manipulating them, pressuring them, and, and really crafting all this great pressure to get them to close is, is faulty compared to very clearly being the guide, showing that you're a guide, that you know how to bring people from here to there. And here is where they're stuck and there is where they wanna get to. And it's all about them and their core problem that they have, right? Now, and this is a subtle difference. The biggest difference though, is that you have to show that you are credible and that you have authority to, that you are an authority and you gotta show proof and give evidence that you've been able to do this. And you also have to show empathy, realistic empathy of where they are in order to do, to, to cast a vision that you have a process to actually get them from here to there. Now, what do I really mean is that I see all of these digital marketers out there right now, you bought, I, and I, I really think there's about five or six gurus selling this program to people, where you cold outreach to people and you sell cold outreaching to people, and you go into go high level and you set up a whole bunch of addresses and you nuke those addresses until you get somebody on the line, then you call them and you keep them going. I'm sure there's a place for that, but folks, I'm telling you right now, nothing will smoke your credibility more than, than simply, being an unfindable, grifting marketer making giant claims to people. And I'm not claiming that everybody that does this is that way. That being said, it's very reminiscent of back in the day with contractors that they would go out, they'd get business, make sales, and then not deliver great results. And after about two or three years, they'd be forced to dissolve that company and open a new company, right? Um, and so you, I think the same thing is true if you keep buying different domains with these stupid squeeze pages that look hideous, that have gigantic red, green, and orange buttons that buy now and there's just word after word after word. There's not even a coherent branding to the thing. Um, I'm not saying you need some super expensive website, but by golly, you should at least have some coherency and spacing, padding, and typography so that people can look and say, this is a business that's trying to be around for a long time. In fact, as we go down, it's not that they're showing screenshots to the Guru Facebook group that they're part of, and it's just like these vague, like, Steve says, I did the best job ever. Joey agrees. No, it's actually like, especially if you're selling to business owners, people really should be able to push in a little deeper into the claims that you're making. They should be able to see what you're doing. So go onto your website, do great work, and quit working so hard to craft these gigantic asks and offers, but instead, carefully put together a scope of work, a price, and then talk about what's valuable to them. And then it, business owners in particular, coming and telling us and making big promises is cheap. 
In fact, people are doing it to us all day long. I'm far more concerned about how at a medium um, scalability for you, how are you able to deliver these results? And I think most mature business owners think the exact same way. So if you want to grow your marketing business, you can't just simply make big offers and talk about your big ask and your super compelling offer. And if you just give away a lead magnet that you'd usually choose from or that you'd usually sell, then they're gonna get in there. It's like, no, nah, you gotta add a little more meat on the bone. And uh, really what you wanna do is you wanna show how you're worthy of trust. And that's really hard for people who've never done this before. But instead of seeing time and time again of all of these marketers making giant claims, speaking vaguely about these amazing results they get, never being able to show because they're always in the launch phase of their business, what you should do is just get some results, work hard at capturing those results, and be authentic. I'm not a big fake it, I don't think you should fake it till you make it. I think if you uh, just go in and, and share where you're at, talk about the problem you're gonna solve, and your approach to it, and then eventually start capturing that trust, you're gonna have a good, a much better time. Good luck, God bless, and uh, go to feedbackrench.com, like and subscribe if this is helpful.